be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat making bases back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be showing you how to use the remix effect to make fire transitions in Logic Pro 10. All right, so if you're new to Logic Pro 10 and you don't know what the remix effect is, I'm gonna show you. Basically, it is a plugin that you can add to any of your tracks and DJ up that track if you will, okay? Um, so this is the remix effect this is what it looks like it's pretty decent kind of looks like a dj deck right you got to you know except there's no like turntable right there but um you can access it right here in your audio effects to so scroll all the way down till you see multi effects then remix effects stereo boom but pretty much you could do different things to the beat or different things to whatever track you got going here. So this is one of my favorite things to do. You can do a filter. That's how you do a filter filter sweep. You can uh, do like a gate gator type of uh, effect where it's kind of like doing like a choppy effect to the beat. Holding that down, you can move it up. You can do a tape stop effect where you know the beat will be playing or you know a track will be playing and you can slow it down real quick. Or do a, like a slower slow down you know you could do a little scratches and stuff like that with this but i don't usually use these this is pretty cool this is like a digitizer so it's gonna like do some type of digital effect to here and then this is a repeater push that and it will repeat the beat so or the track so now that you know kind of what these can do the next thing to do is to show you first of all how you actually would use it um, if you want to record what you do, okay, you can use automation to do that. Just come on to the track that you're, you know, using this effect here on and then go over here to touch. You can also do latch, but just go to touch and then pretty much whatever you touch on the track. So like if you bring the volume up or down, um, you know, pan it or do anything in any of the plugins on this channel pretty much is going to record that with this touch enabled. So since we want to just enable or affect the uh, remix effect, just open that a plugin and then anything you do is going to be recorded. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to go over a filter sweep. So you don't have to just start at the beginning of the track. You can take your playhead and go anywhere on the track you want. This is our third verse right here. So I want to start a filter sweep right here. So what I'm going to do is we'll come over here. This is our hook. I'm going to go ahead and play this. And then as it goes in here, I'm going to just push this and just start you know, doing a filter sweep. So that's going to be our first one we're going to do. Let's check it out. So just to show you that it did um, go ahead and indeed record, I'm going to play this again and you'll see since I had touch on, it's going to record it. Next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is what I call is like a gator effect. Um, it's gonna basically be where I'm gonna jitter or stutter the beat a little bit. So I'll start it right here and then we'll do the effect kind of somewhere right here. that effect right there um, so now let's go also and do another effect it's gonna be our tape stop effect I'm just gonna be using this button right here and so the effects is gonna be done right here and remember this this is the uh, track that we're affecting the one that's highlighted and the one that has the you know remix effect on it everything like that let's check it out And 
so I'll play this back. You'll see that it's, since we have touch on here, it is, you know, enabled and has recorded this. So now I also will show you the repeater function. So let's go over here and I'll push play. All right, bet. So we've gone over a lot of different, um, you know, ways you can do and use the remix effect to manipulate your beat. Now let's go ahead and turn off touch, put it on read. And I'm gonna show you now what to do if you made a mistake here. All you have to do is push A, and that's gonna open up your automation. Hold down option, you can use your mouse to go left or right, and that's gonna zoom in. And say like this first little stutter, I think, a repeat, I don't want on there. So what I can do is just go over here to the actual uh, effect I want to remove and take that out of there now. So now we. And then also, that uh, tape stop effect is a little sloppy, so let's go ahead and fix that. Move some of these nodes like this. Of course, this goes with everything. So I can come over here if I didn't like the filter sweep, come to the part, you know, use this playhead to go to the part that I need to change. And you have all of the different effects that you, you know, did over here. So filter on and off right here. We can even come to like the actual frequencies. You can make this smoother if you wanted to. So like say if this wasn't like, a, if I didn't do it as smooth as I wanted to, Take this, take one of the points. And then after you're done making your adjustments, just push A again and you're out of the automation. Also, you always wanna make sure that you check your um, automation right here. Always put it back to read. But for the, for the most part, y'all, that's the tutorial. Make sure you go ahead and get subscribed to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, if you learned anything or whatever, gaining information or insight, hit that thumbs up and everything. Also, make sure you go to my site, beatmakingbasis.com. On the site, we do have full video courses so that if you liked any of these tutorials that you've been watching, you're definitely going to go on and go ahead and grab the whole course. All right. Comes with hours and hours of content. Definitely exclusive, nice stuff that you're going to be able to instantly apply to your beats. Um, we also have royalty free drum and loop kits that you can grab on our site as well. And lately, we also have posted some templates. So grab these templates grab these courses and grab these kits okay and if you really really love the content make sure you go ahead and grab the bundle deal what is the bundle deal basically if you click on any of the courses templates click uh court uh kits whatever any product on the site and then scroll down you're gonna see the bundle deal okay you just gotta hit add to cart wait a few seconds for it to add all of the courses kits and templates and stuff like that onto the cart, then check out and then you will get a download link with everything that's on our site. All right. So make sure you do that and appreciate y'all watching. I will see you in the next video.